Hey gamers, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk 2. Today we are on day 15. We are almost to the end. Today I have with me Bard. Bard. Hi, Dobo. Hi, chickens are tasty. Oh, <laughs> that's Simon. <laughs> I second the chickens are tasty man. Oh my, okay. I and and, and, and today emotion. is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2020. No! Anyway. Oh. My avatar broke her neck. Okay. The evening whispers. Fire director resigns in the wake of shocking leaks. Heir of American business royalty disowned over choice of wife. Oh. Killer algae, the new invasive species. Oh my goodness. This algae again. Somehow this feels like deja vu. Hey. Welcome, Officer Georgia. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Yep. Deja vu. What? Nothing. Everything's fine. I have everything I need to avoid another blackout. That's good news. <laughs> you know, this weather has kind of grown on me. Really? Yeah. Not something I'd like to have forever, of course. But the thunder no longer sounds so angry to me. Interesting. What does it sound like to you? Hmm. No idea. <laughs> Just not scary anymore. Anyway, I want to order something. Perfect. What would you like? <laughs> Make me whatever I ordered a couple weeks ago. Uh, bruh. couple of weeks ago, hmm? Yeah, give or take. You were promoting a new tea selection at the time. Good times? I remember it had an interesting color. <laughs> I'll take whatever you gave me that day. I think I just gave him hibiscus. No items, right? Keep getting paranoid. Okay, no. <laughs> oh! Here you go, officer. Hmm. Not really what I ordered, I think. What? Oh. It isn't? You're right. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? I'll take it anyways. As long as it doesn't have milk in it. I see. Alright. I'm sorry. Once again. You alright? I feel like I've been making so many mistakes lately. I wonder why. Do you ever take a break? <laughs> when was the last time you closed up shop? I don't remember. You should take a break. Really? Close up shop when you can. Take a week off or something. I'll consider it. How are you, officer? How's work? Work, huh? Well, it's only been a couple days since I was here. But I admit a lot has happened. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> Patience, pal. We don't have all the players here to complete the story. Oh? Someone else coming? Two more. Alright then. But what do you mean, complete the story? <laughs> well, like I said, there's been a lot going on. 
I can't recount the whole thing alone. I see. But you know it's a... For a while, this old man felt like he'd been living in a stagnant pool. When he thought he started out on, on a floating stream. It didn't take long for him to find out it wasn't a stream or even a pool. It was more like a mud puddle. That was constantly being filled up with dirt year after year. And, well, no matter how much he tried to keep it clean, the puddle would always dry out before his attempts bear fruit every single time. He'd end up stuck at the stuck on the bottom with only occasional rainwater keeping his existence going. Right. However, after a heavy bout of or after a bout of heavy rain, he discovered a small crack. So, oh, a thin line leading to another flowing water in the original direction he wanted. You know what I'm saying? I think so. Lucas is in the house, yo. Oh gosh. Hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? And you, Pops, how goes it? All good. <laughs> You're in high spirits, aren't you? Always. Anyway, Pops, what's shaking? I think I should be the one asking you that. What's with all the excess energy? You're right, and I probably should explain, but first... Dear Itze, may I put it in order? You may. Huh. So I'd like a blue pina latte with a super cool latte art on top. Oh jeez. This guy. Okay. Blue pea latte. Blue pea latte. What? Wait, how do I make this? Uh oh. I think it's just blue pea and milk. No. No. She wants me to make latte or two. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Um. A chicken. A chicken. A chicken? Oh no. Um... Oh no... Okay... Um... Hmm... Chicken... This is a very cursed chicken. Oh no. Uh, okay. Oh no. Uh,
Um, yeah, that's definitely not a chicken. Oh no. I tried Nora, I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> Um, it looks amazing. Chicken for ch for the chicken man. L uh, looking. He's not a chicken. Wait a minute. How did I get the achievement serve the incorrect drink once? And then I got an achievement for serve all the correct drinks. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to verify that information. <gasps> A cup of blue latte with a masterpiece on it for you, sir. A masterpiece, eh? I like your confidence. Uh oh. No, don't take a picture and post it on the gram. Oh no. Anyway, cheers. Nice. Thanks, it's it. So what's up, kid? All's well, pups. I'm waiting for the lady to arrive. Oh, so Miss Riona's coming? Yep, she should be here soon. The last couple of days have been really intense for us. In fact, I didn't sleep at all until last night, huh? Oh, why? Let's just say we've been busy cooking up stuff. What? What is it? I know you're a hustler, kid. Schedule's probably not like everyone else's. But I hope you won't drag others into unhealthy habits unnecessarily. Although I know next to nothing about banshee biology. Doesn't she do late night deliveries? Oh. Oh. Sometimes she doesn't, or she sometimes she does deliveries until morning. Then never mind, kid. Forget everything I said earlier. Phew. I was like, oh man, what a stupid thing that I do this time. <laughs> and, nah, I was just pulling your leg. You're both adults. I was just playing around as the nosy, annoying old guy. Still, it's good that you guys are talking. Especially considering what happened the first time you two met. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I mean by me doing stupid things, too. Sometimes I don't slow down enough to see the forest for the trees, you know? It happens. As long as you're aware of it, and take a step back from time to time. Yep. So were you staying up because of the new podcast you posted? <clears throat> Oh yes, have you watched it? What podcast? The link is on my T-Chill Pops. That was a podcast. You've already seen it too? <laughs> oh man, I'm stoked. I thought it was like a ghost hunt or something. <laughs> With how dark everything was, the lighting was. So it was too dark, huh? I'll keep that in mind. I admit, what you call the ghost hunting segment was <clears throat> shot kind of spontaneously. But what do you think about the whole thing, Pops? You too, it's a Tell me. Oh, I saw the post, but I haven't had time to watch it yet. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ah, uh, well, don't be sorry. But go watch it when you have the time, all right? Well, do. Well, since I thought it was a ghost hunt, I didn't, you know. 
I didn't watch it all the way to the end. Okay, that's fair. Understandable. My daughter enjoyed watching the whole thing, though. Ah, that's great to know. You told me Rachel was there, too. What gives? Rachel? <clears throat> yeah, she was our first guest. Oh, so... Did you film the episode right after we three talked about it the other day? Exactly. That's why it was spontaneously done. But the whole thing is not all about ghost hunting, Pops. That was just a clickbait. The actual story is... I know. My daughter summarized it for me. You brought up the street. And the tree too, didn't you? Exactly. Because it was part of our plan, right? Mm hmm? Welcome, Miss Riona. Hello. Lady, finally you're here. Good evening, Miss. Hi, everyone. Was the traffic bad for you? No, not at all. I had to deliver something before I came. That's why I'm a bit late. I apologize. Nah, you're not late. I'm just early. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, please. I'd like a cup of mild coffee sweetened with a lot of honey. If you would. Okay. Mild coffee coming right off. Honey coffee! Yeah! <laughs> That's what I used to order back in the day. Really? So what's really happening with the two of you? This kid stayed up for days for something, apparently. Does that include you as well? <laughs> yes, but those are just my regular working hours. See? See? And? I thought we were done talking about that, Pops. What the heck? Uh, I'm not done playing the role of annoying and old nosy old guy, that's all. Jeez. Oh, and by the way, thank you for telling me about that power shot. Somehow I didn't know it existed. Are you talking about Disco Pie? Yeah, that place is clo that place closes up at midnight. It follows the schedule of the pub adjacent to it. Now my daughter can get pie even when I'm. Oh, you cut out my last bit. <laughs> That's it. Now my daughter can get pie even when I'm home late. I see. That's good. I swear, I'm not trying to point your regulars in the direction of your rival, I'd say. It's fine. It's fine. What rival? Maybe I should start selling food here. Hmm. Did I miss something? I'm wondering, too. Well, as you probably know, especially if you follow my teacher, we started a vlog slash podcast thing. Right. My daughter watched the first episode yesterday. Did she, did she like it? She loved it. I heard her laughing all the way. <laughs> I'm glad. So, what is this vlog slash podcast thing, really? Yes, please clarify. 
I saw you had this walk around session in the episode. I thought podcasts are supposed to be voice only. Like a radio show, but you don't need to catch it live. Well, nowadays there are a lot of podcasts with videos. Voice is still the most important part, though. And we did have the Carpool podcast later in that episode. So usually, there will be two versions of the same episode. The voice only one, and <clears throat> on audio streaming platforms. And the full video posted on video streaming platforms. Ah, I see. Sounds difficult to create both at the same time. It must require a lot of planning, doesn't it? It does. If you're not THE Lucas, that is. Thanks to my editing and interviewing skills, you can enjoy the action session in the voice-only version all the time. I see. A little heavy on the breathing, sorry. I'm trying. No, 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 it's, it's okay. I'm just letting you know when it comes up. I'm sorry. Yeah. It wouldn't be possible to make the episode as compelling, though. Without Lady Riona giving us good information to make the episode work. Somehow, her voice really resonates well on the mic. So it was a joy to edit it. <coughs> edit into the narration, huh? Also, Rachel was probably the best first guest we could have gotten. We even got a sneak preview of her new singles. My first episode got tons of views because of that. Really? That's great. But I wonder if that was cleared by her manager. Probably not. Yeah. But she knows what she's doing, I'm sure. I can see why you two stayed up for days now. <laughs> Sounds great, y'all. So, miss. Yes. Are you enjoying your new role as the show co-host? Well, it's interesting so far. And I'm learning a lot of new skills. So I am eager to keep working on it. All the while I keep looking for auditions. Honing my craft. That's all I needed to know. So, what else is in the episode? <laughs> Go watch it. Just kidding. It's okay. You can watch it whenever. I oh, will. Later after work. So, Mr. Lucas, you said this is a part of your plan. And officer, you said you needed all the players to be here to form a complete story? What's with all that? Pops, if you please. Alright, I'll, I'll stop. It said, do you remember what we talked about a couple days ago? Which part? I asked you and Gala which your which your preferred. Wild rumors or bad press? Though you didn't answer. Ah, yes, I remember now. You said something about combining them, I think. Yep, that's where I and Lady Riona came in. Oh. Pops was telling me about his meetup with the Grieving Vandals. So I know the whole story, and I get what they were going for. Is that that they want their friend to be remembered in a bad way? Yeah, they just want them to be remembered, period. So, from talking with Pops, I had an idea. And they needed to turn their actions into a neighborhood legend. Urban legend. 
With their and the victim's family's permission, of course. The victim's family? When the, asked, when the officer asked me if I knew them, I was able to track them down. You did? That's great. Wow. Um... We operate on a similar wavelength, which is the easiest way to explain it. <laughs> it took a while, but I managed to reach them. I see. That makes sense. So you're trying to turn their act of vandalism into an urban legend? Exactly right. Urban legend usually starts with hearsay. Created from half-truths, half-exaggeration, from each speaker to the next listener. Like a game attack. Sometimes, they can even be all lies. But most of them often serve as a cautionary tale. Yep. But the best thing about this one is it's all real. It really didn't take much time for me to tweak it into a whole new story. Why did it need tweaking? To make it less clear, of course. Because you want everyone to get curious. If you explain everything all at once, there's no mystery for others to dig into. Once they're hooked on the premise, folks will try finding things out on their own. And in this case, because the tree already was an, <clears throat> an actual long history, those who dig for more information will surely fall down the rabbit hole. Other content creators who are into this stuff will lap it up. And they tend to be big. Then the rest is history. Their friend's memory will have a life of its own. I see what you mean. Did you have the story in yesterday's episode? Part of it. We're planning to discuss it further in a couple episodes. Because you need to give the impression time to propagate, you know? Honestly, it was probably good enough. Because my daughter couldn't stop asking me more about it. She knows the story was based on my case. And she's been telling her friends at school about the video. And without letting them know it was my case, of course. That would be bad. Sounds very promising, though. You're telling me. That's great. Send our thanks to your daughter, Pops. Uh... Wow. This is all very different, but a somewhat exciting experience. How do you know this will all work out as intended? We don't. It's not that easy to influence that many heads, you know? Huh? But you were so confident. Because... We'll never know the outcome of anything. Unless we try. That's true. Well, congrats on taking a step into a new direction, kiddos. Who knows? Maybe some day soon I'll join you in. Join in on that. You want to become an influencer too, Pops? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Nah, I meant taking a step into a new direction. How about Georgie Williams, private investigators? Wow, really? For real? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Bruh. Sad. Or am I? Who really knows at this point? I mean, I think it fits you well. Thanks for the vote of confidence, miss. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to leave soon. Huh? Why? 
I haven't eaten anything substantial since this morning. It was a really busy day. Oh, we're? Let's go then. Uh, you can stay. I'll just go for a quick bite and come back. Nah, let's just go. We're partners, right? Besides, we still have a lot of things to discuss. Ah, you're right. Okay, if you're fine with it. But, before we go... I want to give a final test to Itse. Oh, goodness. A uh, test? Yeah. To be honest, I'm very impressed with your coffee shop. It's one of the best I've ever been in. And I see your regulars are loyal as well. So, I want to send you to a luxurious Lucas Approved. Send you a luxurious Lucas Approved five star plaque. Oh my. So that's real, huh? What's that? Nothing. Does that mean this coffee shop will be a part of the hottest gang now? Only if you pass this one test. Make me a custom order based precisely on my preferences. Could you tell me a bit more? After all, the relationship between a shop and its patrons is based on deep familiarity. So, I just want you to make me a drink based on what you know about me. I can't really drink coffee anymore, but I still need caffeine. Right. I really like sweet things. And sometimes I forget to eat, so I need something rich to soften up the drink. What special drink would satisfy all that? Alright. Lucas is stinky, so I'm gonna say green tea. He loves honey. And milk, because milk makes any drink a bit thicker. Sir? Whoa. That looks nice, kid. What do you call this? Since it's made for your approval. Five stars? How's that sound? With the quotation marks and everything? Perfection. Truly, a service worthy of Lucas's five stars. Cheers. Wow, that's hot. Jeez. You don't have to drink it all at once. I think it's time for us to go. I mean, for me. Mind you let. Let's get going then. He gulped down that whole matcha tea. See you later, pops. Good luck with everything. That thing was steaming hot. You too, you too. Bye, it's it. See you again soon. Goodbye. So, just you and me now. Nothing wrong with that. I have to go. I have to go soon. Oh, duty calls. Sure. Hello, it's a. Freya! Give me your back. Hey, Miss Green. Hey, officer. Long time no see. I heard you've been going around the world, huh? Around the world is a bit much. But I've been somewhere. I'm glad to see you're here, Freya. <laughs> Well, as much as I'd like to say in chat, duty calls. Aw, that sucks. I missed you. Well, see you later then, Georgie. Yeah. 
Don't forget to tell it, say the truth, okay? Huh? Later, it's a... I will. Let me move over there. So, my buddy, my pal, my good friend, it's a what's up. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Before you start blaming me, it was a last minute thing. I didn't even know I'd be back so soon. So what makes you return sooner than expected? Huh? Well, maybe I'll tell you after a drink. Hey. Do you remember my very first order ever? Espresso? Yep, you have a good memory. First time I was here, it was raining as hard as it is now. I thought nothing was open anymore until I saw your shop. Your espresso was one of the best coffees I'd ever have had. Thank you. One espresso for me, please. Forget what coffee I made. Bro, what do you mean? This is all you ever ordered. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not angry. You're angry. No. Here you go, Fredo. A cup of triple shot espresso for you. Great. Again, this deep aroma and such stellar flavors. Thanks. So, mind telling me why Officer Georgie said what he said? Hmm? Which part? Something about telling me the truth? Ah. Uh, well, about that. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm leaving for a writer's residence soon. And it's really, really far away. What? I know, I know. It was impulsive, it was something I did in a whim. I know. Me and my old buddy sent the application form, like, last month, not really expecting anything. But we got accepted, and somehow it's for this year's rotation. Which means I need to pack and get ready really soon. It's not a scam, is it? Of course not. How long is it going to be? I don't know. Probably a few months. But I might try to keep traveling after that. Okay. It's saying? Are you sad? Nope. No. Don't be sad while I'm gone, okay? I said I'm not sad. No. Anyway, tell me what's been happening all this time I've been gone. There should have been a lot of juicy stories waiting for me, right? Oh, you have no idea. Spill it! Everything! Alright, alright. So it started about two weeks ago. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Coffee Talk here. Oh, wait. WAIT NO WHAT'S THE END?! Oh no! Wait! No, I thought I had one more! Oh no! We don't get to see Pearl and I'm so curious, crying. <laughs> Brianna made some friends.
you guys enjoyed this series. Um, I know all all of us definitely enjoyed recording the um, the talking games. If you guys have any other games that you want to see like this, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, from us to you guys, I love coffee talk too. I don't know about you guys. Did you guys enjoy? Yeah. Yeah. Sign up. He's dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, have a take care. Uh, whoa, whoa. Have a great day, everyone. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, and yeah. Take care. Bye. I forgot. I was like, wait, what if there's an ending scene? Okay. I have turned the camera back on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we may have got debated by the, the credits. Here, here, here we go. Hmm. Is it the cat? Hello? What? Is it the cat? Is it the cat? Honey. I don't care. You can even look this up. I don't. I I I, I, I got nothing. Yeah. Oh goodness. If you need to look this up, I I think we should be okay. But I'm like, oh, what the hell? Ooh. Yeah. I don't want to get this. Oh no. Um. Okay. Um. I guess we got the secret ending again without even realizing. Um... Okay... Um... No, 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 no! Hey! Uh, no! I don't have ad blocker! Get out of here! Um... Okay, okay, okay... Where, where is it? Where is it? Give me the information! Okay... If you play all your cards right... Blah, 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 blah... Okay... Once you get it, you cannot replay the end and we'll watch it again as it stands. Okay. It might be the and this ending. Yeah, we got the secret ending first try. Woo! Oh my gosh. I was gonna guess a milk, so. Yeah. Okay. Who I, is this cat? I, I, I thought it- yeah, whose cat is this, bro? <laughs> we just point at it like, whose who's sassy cat is this? Yeah, right? I hope you enjoy this small offering of arms. Don't worry, it's on the house. We'll be open all night, so feel free to stay away. As long as you like. Until you feel you're ready to leave. We have now seen the big picture, however, some finer points remain to be seen. Wait, no, it's the spirit! Oh, what the... I wonder... No, you have to- okay. To get this ending, you need to have seen every single ending in the game. That's right, you have to replay your save file a couple of times, play through the game again until you've gotten all the bad endings and all the good endings. Huh? Uh, uh, no. okay, yeah, no, Alright. Well, okay, guys. I guess this is not the end of the Coffee Talk series, then. Um, How do we get the bad that, endings? Bro? Well, we we will see you guys in the next episode, I guess. Um, oh, no bad endings. I don't want to do that. Stay tuned for when we absolutely troll Riona and she never comes back to the coffee shop. Take care, everyone. Time to get sad. <laughs>